today we have the new Broly promo from the uh, theater movie, the remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it, later this year. And uh, we finally got the details for it. And a lot of people are very in between and or hate this card. Um, and for good reason. I kind of wanted to take some time, a very quick video, to, to talk through the predictions that I had before. And I'm going to cut through that right now. But it's probably going to have something to do with Take Life on his um, his under uh, his unawakened side or KOing. There, that's the the two things I would say. Um, and then this this side has some probably something to do with power, like a, a increase and maybe even double strike or critical. I think that's kind of the the whole the whole thing for that. I don't think it's going to be the whole thing for hand destruction, but I could be compl completely wrong. And basically, you know, based on that, uh, I mean, I was pretty much right, I think, and as well as both the KO and as well as the traits and uh, taking life. It's just not exactly the best, I guess, um, but I kind of want to go over it. So he is a black leader. So for sure, he is a black leader, which is OK, I suppose. I mean, it's like keeping him green might be really good for the archetype. Um, keeping him black, black green might be good, too. I, I mean, he has access to like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, which no one really plays because it's too uh, too slow now. And uh, a lot of other black specific cards uh, that need to, well, there's not that, that not that many. So yeah, looking at all of the specific black ones, I mean, uh, this might might not be all of them, but if you just take a look at it, so if like these these three or this one, where if you attack a combo, uh, a leader card is black, drop those two. But he has a built-in mill, so it's not really that big of a deal. This guy is a self awakening, uh, which he has self awakening, so that's not that big of a deal. Here is the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock that wipes the whole board if your uh, leader card is black. But again, EX Evolve for five is a lot, so eh. Um, and no one's really playing anything that needs to be removed, uh, except for some of the mono blue uh, variants for Super Saiyan 3 and a couple others. So that might be a pretty good matchup, I guess. Um, and then the Forced, forced Absorption Demigra. Uh, the leader card is a uh, demon god, so that doesn't even count. This guy needs an android or Toa, and then all of these other ones are Goku Black, so kind of a disappointment. Uh, knowing that he's black, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's stupid. He has a Broly era, he has a Saiyan, so that's pretty cool uh, for support in the future. He has a promo card, so obviously that's these are all very, very uh, obvious. And then his auto is when you attack with uh with him into a leader card and may choose one card from your life into the drop area and then if you do so place up to three cards in the drop area and then choose they choose one um of their cards in their hand and place in the drop area uh and then this is a flip uh at four and draw two so which is cool um he's obviously not an aggro leader uh and you know that's that's where everything is right now the the, the whole reason why people are very disappointed in this is that um in an aggro format right now, uh, critting yourself into the drop area is very, very uh, detrimental. So stuff like the uh, you take life and gain double strike Goku, the uh, Vegeta, even though he, he actually can sustain pretty well because he is so aggressive, um, and other self-awakening leaders aren't that great because of this. And when you when you uh, take, a, take a step back and be like, uh, I don't know if I want to do that, uh, you know, I think this is okay. Because one, you don't have to do the leader effect. You don't ever have to um, swing if you don't need to. So you can stay at eight life whenever you need to, and uh, you can always swing whenever you want to. You know, if you if you want to feel your uh, your overwhelm to uh, drop one from your life, which is kind of dumb. I wish you can take one from your life instead after you you attack a leader card. So that way you can car uh, build card advantage and then flip two and get more, and then place up to uh, three or have it a mandatory three. Uh, and then they they drop one from their hand. This just this like this feels way too restricted, and very counter counterintuitive in today's meta. But if we switch over to the flip side uh, again, when this card attacks, draw one, and then choose one of your non-token, non-black cards, <laughs> battle cards, and place in the drop area. Why would you make it a mill leader with a black uh, variant or black color, and say non-black battle cards? <laughs> What's the point? What was the whole thing about that? That's so stupid. Uh, if you do so, choose one of their opponents, or your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places into the drop area. Cool. You get to retain the dropping of their hand. And then choose one card from your hand 
uh, and place the drop area. And then, well, choose one for your, one card from your hand into the drop area and choose one of their battle, battle cards and KO it. So, pretty cool. Uh, at least you don't have to take life to do it. You don't have to take life to this either. It's just so stupid that these these restrictions are here. Just chill out. You don't really need to restrict it. Like, if, if you want people to play this leader, don't restrict it. It's, it's that simple. Um, and I think, yeah, okay, I get it uh, as far as power creep and everything else like that. Um, Ben 9 needs to be a little bit more standard and as well as more restrictive for certain things uh, as far as leaders go especially especially since we have uh, Hurigan and all these other ones I can understand that but here's what I think right now this leader is bad um, but when set 5 comes out and the theme booster comes out for the uh, world tournament because we're gonna get more black cards in the world tournament um, uh, uh, set if you if you took a look at the previews uh, I'm pretty sure those are gonna be black cards especially since this one was revealed as a black card and turned out to be a black card uh, I'm pretty sure those are gonna be black cards too so like the Tians the Roshis the uh, the Kid Goku stuff like that are all gonna be black cards uh, whatever I mean if you take a look at my previous videos just search up I, I'm if I can put it in there I'll, I'll put it in here <laughs> but anyway so when that stuff comes out I, I think the meta not only will be slowed down where it doesn't have to be so aggro, it doesn't have to be so fast. Um, we can use stuff like this. You know, it's not going to be detrimental. Where you can place a card in your in your life uh, into a drop area, it's not going to that big, be that big of a deal. Um, but the only issue right now, again, is that a lot of decks are running a, a lot for card advantage. Whether it's been taking life, or fluting, or just drawing, uh, drawing two from like lineage, from the new cell, the um, you know any of the uh, the tap to gain 5k and then uh, draw a card any of those things is gonna be pretty uh, pretty lame because we have they have all that support and dropping one card is not like a that not that big of a deal yeah you can couple it with uh, Mira you can couple it with the um, honestly I don't know because <laughs> I mean cell chain requires Android um, the mirror chain requires an Android as well the I'm trying to think other ones of other um, milling effects like Analaza might be pretty cool as, as far as that uh, that goes and uh, of course all the new Broly stuff so obviously this is the new Broly uh, the new ultimate box where again I was gonna go into a whole thing but just as a quick sort of reminder yeah I was gonna make it the whole 10 minutes shenanigans for it but as a quick quick reminder if you play this guy for thir three he's uh, his evolve for two or his evolve for the next target is uh, for two basically or reduces by two this guy's evolve is uh, three on a Broly any Broly so this is a evolve for one for 20k so you get the KO for this K uh, and then this one is a evolve for one and they choose um, either a battle card or a uh, two cards from their hand basically and I think if your opponent chooses, may choose one of their battle cards to KO it so they get to choose so if they don't choose they get the drop two and then this reduces any Broly that evolves on top of it by two and then you can just do uh, two more energy to drop two more. So that's four cards pretty much netted and then either two um, uh, KO. So that's pretty cool. And of course you have the Rampaging Broly so you can always evolve on anything. Especially if you have another Endless Broly. So cool I guess. Uh, you get to have a built in drop card. And you have uh, Milling in as well as um, Overwhelm Fuel. And since it is a black leader it has that sort of uh, thing going for it. But eh. You know, and then when you compare it to the old Broly leader, he is a green, um, a green leader which has all the green support and just in general, just green support in general. <laughs> and uh, it does have the restrictive, you know, uh, they can't attack battle cards, but it has to attack a leader, so it's basically the same thing as the other one. Uh, so when you attack, you, uh, both players choose one uh, card from the hand and place it to the drop area. So for this leader, you can play Broly's Ring, where you don't have to do that. Um, but you do have to, uh, for the Awakened side, draw one. And then for the other side, um, for the Awakened side, you choose one card from their hand, or both players, and then one card from the battle area, and then place them, those cards in the hand. The reason why I'm so upset about the restrictions is because this is not restricted. You just choose one from the battle area. That's it. Like, you don't have to do anything else um, as far as that goes. It doesn't say nothing about no <laughs> non-black cards, non-tokens. That is what the real issue is for me. Um, and 
Not only that, for this one, there is no, there's no choice. There's no choice in which you can um, uh, say you, you can use Broly's ring, Broly's ring, and then um, what should we call it? Uh, get around it, because you have to. Basically, you have to uh, choose one of your non-token, non-black cards, <laughs> uh, battle cards, and place in the drop area. You can't get around that. Uh, with the Broly's ring, you can. Uh, you just have to KO something uh, with the other leader. So. That is, uh, that is all my thoughts as far as this goes. I know uh, there's a lot of, uh, like I said, back and forth as far as this goes. I think this leader is going to be very good come set 5 and maybe um, like set, uh, like yeah, probably set 5. I think by that time we're going to understand exactly where Bandai is trying to take this. And you also have to realize that this is about two months from now. Um, a lot of things can change from now until uh, two months from now. I think people, uh, they were just trying to get this out so people can be a little more excited and understand uh, what they're getting when they go to the theater. I think it would have been better if we just didn't know until we got to the theater and then uh, go from there. <laughs> but we'll see. I think, um, again, as we get more reveals and I don't, I don't know the next time we're going to get a reveal. Uh, let me double check. Let me go strategy real quick. Yeah, all this stuff is already revealed. Uh, I don't think they updated the new errata. I still haven't done anything about that or talked about that, but hey. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, we just were about to get the ultimate box. Um, if you haven't seen that already, it actually looks pretty good as far as the leaks, leaks go. And uh, hopefully I do a video on that. But until then, really, I think he's going to be good in the future right now. Uh, in the in the current meta, he's not that great. Um, but in the future, he's going to be great. Let me know what you think as far as a comment goes, like, dislike, subscribe if you're new, you know the drill. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.